Assalamu alaikum Jamila, how are you? I'm teacher A and this is your plan inshallah for this month. So let's go now inshallah to see your plan. Inshallah in this plan we will start from the ayah 88 from Surah Al-Baqarah inshallah to, um, to do the tafsir for, for start from this ayah inshallah. Okay, we will start now like we do. Uh, I will read the ayah first and then I will explain the ayah. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقالوا قلوبنا غلف بل لعنهم الله بكفرهم فقليلا ما يؤمنون Okay, what does this mean? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about the Jewish or the Banu Israel Subhanallah, they, when every time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send them a, a, a Rasul, the Prophet, to tell them you should to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you should to be Muslims, you should to listening to the orders from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and every time they were thinking, we can't hear you, we can't understand what you, can, what you say, we can't understand this, what, we can't know what is the meaning of this. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were thinking like they they do this because to make the prophet to, to feel like no hope, I can't do anything for them. They, they, they can't understand what I'm saying. May I say something wrong? And to make the, the prophet start to thinking, it's, there are maybe there are something wrong with me or with the message. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do something like this to, um, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to lead them thinking we can change or do what we what we want but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala no Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said you can't understand the Quran without my order yes I send the prophet yes I tell the prophet to to tell you and try to make you to be a Muslim but you can't be a Muslim without my order you can't do something like this you can't feel you can't feel uh, the um, the message or can't feel the words the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam any prophet even prophet musa we can say sallallahu alaihi wasallam he explaining to you you can't understand this without my order you can't understand anything so you saying we can't where we can't listening to you or we can't understand you no it's that's from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah like allah a curse them okay so we they can't believe because they are uh, disbelievers okay so this is like a punish for them and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the the second in the next ayah said in al-quran وَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ كِتَابٌ مِّنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ مُصَدِّقٌ لِمَا مَعَهُمْ وَكَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ يَسْتَفْتِحُونَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فَلَمَّا جَاءَهُمْ مَا عَرَفُوا كَفَرُوا بِهِ فَلَعْنَةُ اللَّهِ عَلَى الْكَافِرِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in this ayah, Allah want to talk, uh, talk to us about the Jewish too. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give it to them, the book, Al-Tawrah, okay, they were thinking before Al-Tawrah, uh, uh, they better and they, um, they before the Prophet, Musa came to them with uh, with Al Torah. They was thinking, it's uh, we are the better, and they was thinking that we we will come to us the Prophet, and of course we will go to a Jannah, and of course we will follow up the, the Prophet. It's no problem to us, okay? They all time like to do this, um, like arrogant. Uh, to the uh, to the disbelievers, okay. All times they were say, saying these words: "We are better than you." Where the prophet will came to us, and of course we will follow the prophet to go to Al Jannah, and we are the best people to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Okay, they all times they were saying these things, and Subhanallah, when Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala sent the book with the prophet Musa alayhi salam, they didn't believe. Okay, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
let them to say to, to see he was saying when the prophet come of course we will believe but we really actually when the prophet come they didn't believe no they was disbelievers but they was trying to kill the prophet and they was trying to do anything to make the prophet like to feel no hope no i i can't do anything to and make the message to disappear okay they they was thinking with the the, the different way and it's a, it's a so bad way okay they was thinking and in the last allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they can't do something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't, didn't give uh, the, uh, the order. It's a zero or something we should to know all time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when um, we want to do something, he just say, happen, okay? To be, be this thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if Allah said to, to want to, to do anything, he would just say, be this thing, and this thing will happen. Of course, it's a God, so he can do anything he wants. Okay? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the next ayah, Mama, Ata. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. على من يشاء من عباده فباءوا بغضب على غضب وللكافرين عذاب مهين الله سبحانه وتعالى said in this ayah that Banu Israel or the Jewish as usual they trying to change the truth with the the, the, the something with something else with the lies okay to make the people thinking this is what, uh, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to us this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to us okay but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said they like they selling okay they themselves okay to to do anything uh, to do anything to 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 still have this a good the good life for them and of course the good life for them it's, it's so far from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they can't believe in Allah because if they believe so they should to listening to the orders and to do al halal and al haram but they this thing will will be different to them and it's not helping because they want the money and the power so mm, i want to give you an example like when I give someone, uh, this one, it's a, like a, it's a king, okay? And he has all the power and the money and everything he wants. And in one day, I will say this to this king, we will uh, make another king, okay? It's a, this king, it's a bigger than you, and he has a, a more of power and more of money than you, okay? And you can't do anything from uh, from uh, with yourself you should you should to ask this the king this king before you to you do anything he will agree of course not never to agree because he was thinking no i want to do this my with my own self okay but it's is there are something change here it's a, this is a king but we are ibadullah so we should be listening to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should to do what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to us. This is haram, so we shouldn't to do this. This is halal, so we should to do this. But if we want to do anything, just we want to do this. And anything else, no. So this is haram. And it's, this is not um, to make our life to be good. Because if I do everything like I want, and without any rule, I come back to this rule. So it will be a mess, okay? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put to us our rules, okay? And, and the, the orders to can have a good life. 
okay, to can to, to can my life to be better. Al Islam came to to lighten my, our life, to make our life to be more happy, okay. Never to Al Islam to make our life to be more sad, or never ever any book Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sent it before the Quran or the Quran to make the life to be hard or just a little never Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send any book to give to us the way to have a good life and then in the last we will go of course inshallah to Al Jannah but they change this because they they this they, they disbelieving in there are akhirah and there are a day of judgment and uh, they will, if they do something bad, they will go to Jahannam. And if they didn't believe, they will go to Jahannam and the bad, the bad place, the worst place in Jahannam too. They, they didn't believe with this. So they thinking, it's, this is our life. So we should to, to have a good life. It's the best one. We, we want to live a good life, okay? Never to to thinking we are uh, uh, we should to listen to the the, the prophet and uh, to listening to Allah we shouldn't to do something like this we don't need this they were thinking like this so Allah subhanahu wa taala said to them do anything you want Allah subhanahu wa taala give the um, al iman the the thief to anyone Allah subhanahu wa taala he Allah subhanahu wa taala want not like you want. If you want to be a Muslim, you can to be a Muslim. If Allah will this, like it says, there are a situation with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam with his uncle Abu Talib. He was a disbeliever, and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he trying, he trying many times to be to to take his uncle to be a Muslim, and he was asking Allah all time to make the his uncle to be a Muslim. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the last, he was, when his uncle was dying, he asked his uncle, he said, uncle, please say, la ilaha illallah, and I promise you, you will go to al-Jannah. But, uh, but his uncle was saying, I can't, I can't to say this. It's a, it's a, there are something else. I have another deen. It's in my deen and my parents' deen and my god, the, my god, my grandpa deen. So I can't, I can't to say la ilaha illallah. And he and there are uh, uh, some from the uh, as Sahaba. The companion said it's a, he was trying, but he couldn't to do something like this. And the prophet was so sad with, with this situation. But Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sent to the prophet this ayah. You can't make anyone to be a Muslim. Allah, just Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do something like this. If Allah feel or Allah see this man will be good to Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give him the, the, the light to be a Muslim. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see this man, it's a, he can't be a Muslim. He can't to feel to, to feel with the happiness because it, it's a zero or subhanallah, uh, uh, something else. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see the, the things, not like us. We are humans. We are uh, the uh, al-ibad. We can't see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see. Allah, the God. Okay? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, I give anything to, uh, to the one I want, not to all the people. Okay? And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, they get more the angry from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when they thinking like this. And they will say, we are, uh, we can't believe. And all of these things, subhanAllah, they said, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, do anything you want, never to go to Al-Jannah, and I will curse you too, okay? Uh, this is our plan for this month, inshallah, and inshallah, in, uh, we will continue with our next plan. Jazakillahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum.